Hello? Yes, it is. Right now, I just got to bed. I'm about to have some tea and just relax. Yes, absolutely. What movie makes me cry? Actually, Forrest Gump has always given me a good cry. I used to wear little braces on my knees when I was younger, which is actually really sensitive because I remember being sad about it. But every time I watch that movie, it just it makes me cry because of that, but also because of his whole story and his performance of Forrest Gump. I have this thing with time, for example, if it's 11-11, if it's 12-12, something like that, I have to knock on a piece of wood, and if there's nothing in front of me, I will run to find it. I'm really religious about it. Like, if I don't knock on wood, I feel like I'm gonna be in a car accident before I, like, I know it. It scares me. Kind of a little crazy. I can sleep anywhere, and I have finally, like, managed to figure out the technique to sleep on airplanes, and it's to put your feet in the pocket in front of you, and then crawl into this little bowl, wear a hoodie that you could close completely, and headphones. And then I can sleep. My favorite curse word has to be fuck, because I use that the most. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck that guy. I use it in a lot of sentences. It's definitely a bad habit, but that's my favorite one. I do not sleep with anything on. My mom used to always wear pajamas, and I just hated when she would put that on me. So now when I'm 3,000 miles away, I always sleep nude. Sorry, mom. I actually don't like sleeping alone. I can't really sleep because I'm, I don't know what it is. It's always been like that. Like I always sleep better if there's somebody next to me. Obviously not just anyone. There's something calming about knowing that there's another person next to you. So I definitely sleep better with somebody there. Did I just spill chicken on myself? I did. Whoops. Hold on. Delicious. Always little spoon, I think. I think that's better. But I'll like big spoon my girlfriends if we're snuggling. If we have the same humor, we're definitely gonna get along and you will have a sweet spot in my heart because I love people that can laugh in good situations, bad situations, and I just love weirdness. I'm all about embracing that. What's an ideal man? I don't think there is an ideal man. I think it's all different and I think it probably this answer would change if you ask me five years ago to now and then in five years, but I think it all comes down to a solid, good-hearted, smart, funny, and happy man. Because if you have all of that, that's all I want. So I think you would be on the same page. It's pretty simple. So nice to talk to you. Bye.